what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Former First Lady of Turks and Caicos, Lisa Ray, is not backing down after natives from her former home came for her on Twitter. The Islanders were upset because Lisa bragged about being the poster child for the island once upon a time. It was during Claudia Jordan's Out Loud podcast when Lisa Ray reminisced about all the opportunities she brought the island. I became the poster child for Turks and Caicos because Turks and Caicos was a jewel of an island, an elite island, that no one knew about until I said, hey, here we are over here, an hour away from the Bahamas, an hour and a half out of Miami. We're right next to Haiti. It's beautiful. The sun and the sand and the water. Come see what I found over here. I did that and I started business over there. I started opportunity over there and I did nothing over here. Hmm. Okay. So let's look at Lisa's side. So Lisa said that she brought a film festival there. She said she built a theater. She brought the first carnival there and she brought a music festival there. She said, hey, you know, I got on the phone, I called my friends and said, hey, uh, we ain't got it in the budget to pay your fee, but if I can turn this into a vacation for you because I'm the first lady, would you bring your talents over here and entertain us? You know, our people, would you do that? And she said, her friends showed up and showed out. Now, Obviously, things didn't work out because she's the former first lady of Turks and Caicos. So let's look at the native side of things. They are saying that, well, I guess not all of them. I mean, only read a few tweets from some of the people who claim to be natives. But the ones who expressed uh, any type of negativity, they were saying, hey, man, we were an island before you got here. We were already known. What are you talking about, poster child for Turks and Caicos? We don't accept you as that. Now, as natives, they got the right to say that. Like, I can't go to, let's say, Miami set up shop and say, I'm the poster child for Miami. You know, the people have to give me that title. I can't like dub myself the poster child of anything. Uh, the people give me that title, right? So, these people were calling, well, this is these people, the people from Turks and Caicos were calling Lisa Lisa Ray Christopher Columbus because they're saying that she's acting like she discovered Turks and Caicos. And they're saying, hey, we've already been on the map. We've been on the map well before you. And I got to agree to that part uh, because it does sound like she's saying, I discovered this place. She's saying that it was a gem. It could be misinterpreted. I mean, you can easily say, well, maybe, you know, she just expressed it wrong. I mean, the word it came out wrong and as a misunderstanding. Could be. But I think uh, a little clarity is important. And that is that Turks and Caicos, I've always known about Turks and Caicos. So I don't know when she say nobody knew about the island. I don't know what she's talking about because I knew and a lot of people that I know knew about the island. Of course, there are people that didn't know, but those are people who are less traveled. People who are well-traveled, they know of Turks and Caicos. Like, my kids know about Turks and Caicos. They are very well-traveled all over the world. They are very familiar 
with all parts, all regions. So I don't know what people she's talking about that don't know of Turks and Caicos. Like she said it in her opening sentence. She said, it's elite, it's an elite island. So in order for it to be an elite island, it has to have activity people have to know about it, to make it elite. You know, it's like somebody saying a Rolls Royce is elite and you don't know what it is. You Nobody's never dri driven it. It doesn't have any history of, of a customer base or anything. So how do we know it's elite if nobody knows about it? You dig what I'm saying? It has to be tried and proven in order for somebody to give it that type of title. So maybe this is much to do about nothing, but I say at all times that you have to be aligned with the people. If the people in a specific or on a specific island say, this is what we're about, this is what we like, then you can't just go and make yourself what they like. They say, this is what we like, this is what we support, this is what we represent. And that's what it is. And I think that for Lisa to continue to try to you know, fight against that and go against that grain is not really helping her. I think the best thing for her would have been done to do was 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 to fall back and say, you know what, y'all right, he right. You know, I misspoke. I'm not the poster child for the island, you know, but I did do some good things in the island. I did bring some things to the island and, you know, I just like, I'd like to have my credit for doing that. She absolutely deserves the credit for anything that she did to enhance the island, to improve the island, to, to uh, give the island exposure. And she did because once she became uh, first lady, uh, that island was being spoken of a whole lot more. So she do get credit for that. And you know, I'm one of those type of people that give credit where credit is due. But what say you? Drop a comment. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah.